Hello, in this video we're going to cook and taste some Campbell's cream of chicken soup. So to cook this, you take the can and you mix it with a can of water. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. That's what it looks like when you open it. it smells pretty good actually. Mm, I'm really, really hungry. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move to this burner over here. It's a little bit easier to see. There we go. Get a better look there. And let's go ahead and dump that in there. Might need to use a spoon to get it out. There it goes. Okay, gonna need to use a spoon. So you need to use a spoon to get it to come out. All right, there it is. Wow, it's really, really thick. Look at that. So you definitely wanna add some water and it says to add an entire can of water to this. Look how thick that is. That is super, super thick. It smells pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna get some water from the sink. I'm just gonna pour that in there. There we go. Get the rest of that soup out of there. And as this cooks, we're going to take a look at the nutritional content and see what this contains. You know, does it have you know, sugars? Does it have uh, sodium? Are there any vitamins and minerals in this? Um, and how many servings? How many servings is this can? Right? Because this can is definitely more than, than one serving. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the can and see what it says while this cooks. So it looks like it has two and a half servings and there's 120 calories per serving. All right. And then there's the sodium, so 38%. So it has a, quite a bit of salt, right? So that's something to consider, but that's most soups. Um, I always say when it comes to food and pretty much everything, right? Everything good and, you know, moderation, right? So this is going to be a very, very nice treat. And here it talks about how to make it, which we're using the stovetop. I wanted to make it in the stovetop so you could see how it looks as it cooks and stuff, so you can see you know, what it actually looks like versus me putting it in the microwave. You can't really get a good look at the soup and how it cooks. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it some more. Make sure that everything mixes really well here. Yeah, and I believe you can use, um, oh, it just says water. Okay, water. You can also use milk. It says, for a richer soup, one can milk, or half milk, half water. So, yeah, so you can do, like, half a can of milk, half a can of water. You can do the full can of milk, or you can do the full can of water. I did the uh, full can of water in my case. So, yeah. As far as the calories, you could figure them out for the whole can, uh, just with water like this. Let's see, so it would be two and a half times 120. So 120 times two is 240, right? And then half of 120 is 60, so add that to 240. So 300 calories in this whole can, according to what's on the can here. So 300 calories in this can of Campbell's Cream of Chicken Soup. to get really really hot uh, you notice the burner is really big this this has the option for the small burner too and I don't know why I use the big one so now it's gonna take it a bit to get hot but it's getting a little bit hot there and a little bit uncomfortable for my hands so safety first I think it might be done I think it's pretty much done I think it's done so if you want it thicker so you can get a good look at the consistency here you would want to use a little bit of milk okay to make it thicker all right, so let's go ahead and, you know, taste this, right? That's the whole point of cooking is to eat. So I'm going to get a bowl here, and we're going to pour it in the bowl. Just pour a little bit in the bowl. I'm going to come over here to the sink and do it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, this is really nice. You can see how much soup is actually in the can. So this is going to be interesting. You're going to like this. Check this out. So right here you see... Right here you see that it's this full bowl, okay, this full bowl. I actually got this bowl on Amazon. Uh, it came in a pack. It's a really good bowl. 
uh, excellent. So yeah, it, it's just basically good for one bowl. So if that's how much soup you can eat, if you feel like you can eat that much soup, then you could basically eat an entire can of the soup, right? So simple, right? One can soup, one can water. All right, so it's really, really hot. So I'm just gonna just take a little bit here and try it. I'm gonna blow on it in a minute here. Oh yeah, that's hot. That is hot. Look at that. Wonderful Campbell soup. Moment of truth. I'm a little bit nervous. It's been a long time since I've tried this. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. You know what would be really good with that? Uh, some sourdough. You can get like some toast and you dip it in there. Oh, that's good. You can tell it has sodium. So, and that's honestly what gives it a, a really nice taste. Oh, look, you have a picture of two pieces of bread. It looks like two pieces of bread. That's exactly what would go great with this cream of chicken soup from Campbell's Condensed. Wonderful. Mm. I'm gonna try one more. Get a really good feel for what it tastes like. Just blowing it a little bit. Here we go. Oh, that's really good. That's really, really good. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Oh, that's good. The, the creamier parts, you see, so I guess I gotta do a better job mixing it. But the creamier parts, like those parts, are better than the liquid parts. That tastes a lot better. I had a little bit of a chunky part in the last uh, spoonful I had. And let me tell you, fabulous, amazing. Let me just do one more here. Mmm. Oh, wow. Delicious. Yeah. Well, I can't recommend it enough. I think if you're looking for some good cream of chicken soup, it's classic. I love how they keep the cans classic, too. It's really old school. Yep. Until next time, good luck. Take care.